Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this new style. Me and my wife went out and went all in on this gun. We're trying to figure out how to paint an F2 style black ice and we recorded it. This is for our good friend that most of us all know and love is Raven Crow 44 an amazing streamer. This gun's going to be sent off to him. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, hit the sub, and maybe if enough people like this, we'll do more of these in the future. This is going to be a tutorial style way of how we did it, so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you like the outcome. Let me know down below in the comments. So first off, I have some sandpaper here. I need to really scuff up this gun. It is a really smooth gun. And if you have really smooth surfaces, it's really hard for your paint to want to adhere to it. We use spray paint for the base coat, which you'll see later on. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. But having that really rough surface at the start is really going to help you and save you for possible scuffing and paint peeling off in the future. Now, you might think it's crazy, but do it. Trust me. It works out really well and it makes the guns finish really nice. Also, hands are going to get dirty, keep a rag close. You're also going to need this rag to wipe off the gun when you're done sanding it. Again, we want the rough surfaces, but we want them clean. We want that a clean surface so that paint can stick to it. And after all of the sanding, which shouldn't take you too long since it, it, you just need to scuff it up a little bit, you don't have to go crazy. Uh, you see me taping off the orange tip because in, in my state, if you're caught with an airsoft gun or if you try to go to a Comic Con or something like that with an orange, without an orange tip, they will ask you to either leave or they'll put a tag on it, which looks really goofy and kind of ruins the vibe of the gun. So you see me tape the, the orange tip as well as I wanted this gun to still be operational for Raven. So that's the hop up mechanism. This is really a cheap airsoft gun that's just a springer, but hey, it's still fun to, you know, play with it every once in a while, have airsoft war with your brothers and sisters, something like that. So I decided I'm gonna make it to where it's gonna work and it's gonna be fine. And I, you might think I'm going, I might be putting too much tape on in some places, but I'm doing that on purpose. I don't want any of my possible overspray for the spray paint later on or painting to get down into these nooks and crannies. Okay, so. The over, paint, over taping might seem excessive, but you can touch that up with future uh, paints and it'll be a lot easier to deal with than accidentally over spraying into something that did not need spray paint. <laughs> so yes, it looks crazy, but it's fine. That's why you see me taping the back end of the little clamps and the pool spring at the top. That had a huge hollow part that was a perfect path right into that spring on the top. So I even taped the back end of that. So. It might seem crazy, might seem like a, too much taping, but it's for good reasons. It's to keep the gun in working condition. And you can always touch it up later and all that good stuff. All right, so that's basically all that's picked. The tape job that's needed this gun didn't really have too many crazy things there was a few stickers so those are scraped off too don't forget to scrape your stickers off on the gun and let's get down to the base coat now from here you kind of see my spray i'm not going for a heavy spray and i'm pretty far away from the gun i'm wanting a nice clean texture if you're right on top of the gun you'll have you'll have your spray paint pool and drip and it'll look really bad take your time when you take your time the gun's finish will look so much nicer if you were to rush it and try to have dribbles everywhere and clogs of paint. So through this whole thing, you, you see like, like, you're like, oh my gosh, how many coats of paint did this take? Probably only took one or two. No, you need to put like two, three, I put four. I went ahead and did four coats. The third one kind of finished up where all the nooks and crannies, because there's a lot of cracks in this gun. There's a lot of little divots and fine details everywhere. I went ahead and just did a fourth, all four coats that I would normally do just to make sure I covered all of the areas that would be hard to get to. And in this little segment of the video, I only I only re recorded me doing one coat. Uh, after this, I flipped it upside down after a drying time and I sprayed the underneath so I could really get a thorough spray. But to save you all from boredom, I only put in the recording of the first coat that I sprayed on. So...
in all honesty, that white base coat really made the gun look pretty clean. Like, I posted a picture on Instagram of just the white base coat, and then I'm like, this is all y'all are going to get. You're not going to see any more. And I had a couple people message me saying, hey, the white, just the white base coat looks good enough for some of them. So it really made me feel good to see that white base coat going. Now the next part, Bailey decided to step in. She loves paint and she loves all the art stuff. And she decided that she was going to help me. She's been so awesome helping me out with all this. Sorry, praise for Bailey. She's amazing. She started peeling off all the tape that we didn't need. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, there's all this black showing. Uh, it looks bad. Again, like I said earlier, over taping right now to save the mechanisms, to save anything from getting ruined. We can fill it in with white paint. And a lot of that that you see that's black is going to be painted with our styles of the black ice colors now you see bailey going in for the touch-up with all of the white and really at this point depending on where the black is showing you might need to do two or three coats of an acrylic paint we're using acrylics on top of the spray paint and it's a rusty's you know uh, matte finish white uh spray paint and we went in with the acrylics on top and it really kind of blended in and a lot of the places that we needed to touch up with the white we're going to get hit with another coat of acrylics from the blues which you'll see later when we get into the actually starting to fade the colors in for the black ice into this Again, thank you so much, Bailey. She is the bomb.com, going all out, staying super focused and getting all the touch-up finished. She cleans up the messes I make. She's awesome. And after she's done with all of her uh, the touching up with the white paint, here comes the blue. So with us, we used just three uh, three blue type or two blue types, excuse me, uh, and we made our third by mixing black in to make a darker color. Now you can see as she puts it all out that, again, these are all from Walmart. Basic cheap acrylics. You don't have to go all out with them. We have thought about trying just doing a spray paint style with our colors and gradients. But as of right now, Walmart, y'all can do this. It's really simple. If you have an airsoft gun that doesn't work and you want to make a prop with it or something. And you can see the two different blues and how she makes the, th the third blue that we use by mixing some of the black paint with that other blue paint. And finally, starting to get some paint slapped on this gun. All right, so it's always good to start out pretty light, all right? You can work in darker tones if you start off too light. If you go too dark, you got to start all over again. So it's better to start with a light and work your way up. So you'll see Bailey starting off with basically the, not even the darkest color we go with. She even made it a little lighter than needed, knowing that in the future, we're gonna probably slap darker colors on this thing, okay? So, all we also found it a lot easier with a one inch brush, not just what like little half inch brush she has. So actually the back, the other side of the gun, she paints with a, an inch wide brush. So use an inch wide brush on this, but still, she started off with lighter colors and she's working her way there. And she didn't go her darkest yet because you gotta work your colors together and you gotta, you gotta blend them well. It's all about blending and fooling people's eyes that it has a nice gradient to it. So right now you see you're starting off with pretty straight lines of stuff. And then in the future, she starts working those lines together 
and starting to form that gradient going from darker to the lighter colors, all right? She pulled up uh, the F2 from Rainbow Six Siege and followed as close as she could because we can't make it perfect to the game. She followed that gradient to as close as she could and really did a wonderful job. I thought it was fantastic in the end. But see how she has those darker colors now to fill in. So always start light and work your way to what you need. All right, so here, if you can barely see it, we cheated. We put pencil lines down. Use pencil lines. They're the bomb.com. All right, so she had pencil lines. We're going to go a little bit because it took like 20, 30 minutes for her to do one side of these to make it look good with the white lines, all right? So we're going to fa fast forward through all this stuff. So she went through and kind of did, some people said like a, a, a giraffe pattern on it. And some people have said they didn't like it. Some people said they they love this pattern and this style. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments so that way we can adjust it in the future. I think it turned out perfect. All right, here's finishing it out. So she just, you know, of course you want to have that pattern match all the way around. So she had turned the gun up to upside down, right side up, all the way shapes and forms to make those lines and patterns connect. Cause then it just, it's that nice little bit of detail that most people may not see cause it's underneath or on top of the gun. But it really, it really ties in the look of the gun all the way together. And afterwards, I, I think that looks pretty nifty. But just wait when we get a little bit farther into the process when we start putting kind of the the ice the ice glaze around the whole gun, which this took forever. That's why it's like super sped up. But I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let y'all enjoy this. I find this part very satisfying. I mean, come on, look at that thing. I love it, I think it's great. And as we're zooming in, that, we went pencil. Pencil's the bomb, I'm telling you. So we sketched out as good as we could the maple leaf for the black ice, and you'll see me going in here and filling it in. In the future, we're buying a stamp that we can stick in the acrylic paint that's a maple leaf, it's already ordered, it's on the way, and we're just gonna stamp guns in the future if, if we wanna paint any more of these, but this gun wrapping up, it was so much fun. It was so cool to be able to see this thing turn turn into what it had become. And I really hope y'all love the final product. Again, this is the only like the, we painted one pistol and a submachine gun. And this is our third gun we've ever painted like this. So we're still learning a lot, but we love the idea of keeping on doing these in the future. So again, let us know in the comments what you think. And if you want more of these videos and how to's, and, and there you go, you see me getting it ready. I'm about to do a, a clear coat on this, and I did some basic taping. I didn't want to have to tape in all a bunch of stuff, so I just taped the mag in place and protect that spring. Uh, again, I'm using Rust-Oleum, uh, a semi-gloss finish, but I didn't go crazy with it. I wanted to give it that ice look whenever you see it in person. It's hard to see it on camera, or I just am not good enough with the camera yet to show y'all, but I, I, I'm going in light spurts in some places and heavy in others. All right, I'm doing this outside in the sun so it can dry pretty quickly because it does dry pretty quickly, but I'm doing the light and heavy spurts randomly to give it that iced look whenever it's finished. I, I kind of did it by accident, 
but then about the third or fourth coat of doing this semi this this clear coat because I did like five, I realized what I was doing and I loved how it turned out and looked. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Me and Bailey loved it. We had a blast, an absolute blast painting this F2. Uh, this is all for Raven. We're sending this gun off to Raven here in the next few days. Uh, and if y'all don't know who Raven is, I'll drop his link for his Twitch down below. Go check him out. Drop him a follow. Support up his streams. He's a great guy. He's just been so awesome and kind to me and my community. And just go follow him, all right? If you enjoyed this video, hit like. Hit the sub, comment down below what you hated, what you liked, and what gun you might want us to paint next. I know in the future we're looking at some of IQ's primaries uh, because Bailey wants to do an IQ cosplay. So we're going to get one of hers ordered and maybe that'll be another video if y'all like this so much. And also, you know, it's the first tutorial I've ever done, so I got a lot to learn. And we'll try to get better at this. But I mean, come on. Oh, look at it. Look at this thing. Raven, I don't want to send it to you. <laughs> It's so much better than my MPX because we learned so much off of that first gun and we learned so much off of this one. So again, if you want more of these, we will be more than happy to do it again because it was a blast. I, whenever we hit a thousand subscribers on this YouTube channel, we will be doing a Black Ice giveaway. So whenever we hit the thousand mark, I'm going to look at all the followers list. We're going to slap it into a giveaway machine basically and whoever it picks, we're going to you know, message, whatever we have to do, figure out what gun they want. They want a Nerf gun if they want a gun from the game. You know, it might not be super expensive version of something, but we'll do our best and we'll ship it to them free of charge. So if you want that to happen, and if you want to see videos on that and you want to see interactions with that, like up and support the video and come check us out on stream. I stream on Twitch, play Rainbow Six Siege, play another Among Us sometimes, have fun, good community, we're goofballs and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I love you and you're blessed and be the best people y'all can be. What's so cool?